In this video, I will show you how you can connect any Facebook page to ManyChat in just two simple steps. And I will also share the ultimate test that you need to do to ensure that you have a good ManyChat connection. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Joran and I'm the founder of Chatomize. And at Chatomize, we are inspiring over 80,000 people every month to create chat funnels that generate leads, boost revenue and reduce costs. And we are working with businesses from small to large and in any industry. So if you just follow the steps in this tutorial, it will work for your business as well. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create our ManyChat account. So to do that, you can just go to chatomize.com slash MC, and this will bring you directly to the ManyChat website. And in the description, I actually have a discount code that you can use to get one month of the pro plan for free. So once you're here, you can just click on get started, click on Facebook Messenger, and then continue with your Facebook account. So actually, I created a new Facebook account for this to show you all the steps that you need to do even when you're having a new Facebook account and a new Facebook page. So we can click here on continue as Joran, and then it will ask your email address. So I will just provide this email address, click on next, and we actually need to type in the code that it is sent to my email address. So when I go to my mail, and I go to this email address, I actually got a ManyChat code. Click on this, and then it's working. And then after this, it's just asking a bunch of questions. So here I can say business, sales, doesn't really matter. It's just like information for ManyChat to get more information what they want. And then here we are going to get started with connecting the Facebook page. So here you can find your Facebook pages or the ones that you're an admin of, and then you can just basically click on connect. And that's it. Now our Facebook page is connected to ManyChat. So that's actually the first step. But the second step that you need to do is you need to ensure that ManyChat is the primary receiver of your Facebook page. And what this means is that you basically need to tell Facebook that ManyChat will handle all of your incoming messages. So to do that, you can just here click on next and then you normally can apply my coupon and then activate the pro trial. I will just start with the free plan. I'll just click here on other, type in some nonsense, click on next. Also click on next. So a lot of information, uh, ManyChat is asking nowadays to just get more information on well, like who is using the platform. So I just typed in all of that information. And then what we need to do now is we need to go to Facebook and then what we actually need to do is we need to go to our Facebook page. So I have the Facebook page Chatomize Connection that you can find over here, but you can also see it here in the top right corner, you can see Chatomize Connection. So you actually need to switch to the Chatomize Connection profile. And that's really important. If you don't switch to that profile, you cannot do the steps that you need to do. So once you've done that, you can click again on Chatomize Connection. And here you can click on Manage and then you can click on page access and then here you need to scroll down to page setup then go here you see advanced messaging so click on view and then here you have the messenger receiver so here you can just click on configure and then select ManyChat. So once you have done this, your ManyChat connection should be working. And now we can perform the ultimate test to check whether your ManyChat connection is working. So you can here just click on the cross and then basically go to your Facebook page. And usually you would have like multiple posts and stuff, but this is just a test page. So I will just have one post. And when we go back to ManyChat, what we should do is create a test automation. So here we can click on automation, click on new automation, start from scratch. And then here we are going to create an automation with a trigger and then click on user comments on your post. And then we're going to select a specific post. So we can select a publication, which is this one, the test post. And when the comment contains a specific word, so for example, test, then we're going to also publicly auto reply. So we can say, oh, so then it needs permissions for this. So we are going to grant those permissions. Click on continue, click on continuous Jordan. 
So once you have granted those permissions, you actually come back here and then we need to set this up again so we can select a specific publication. So this will be test post. Then we want to only want to reply to comments that contain a specific word. So I usually set this to test. So we automatically reply if the comment contains test. And then we also want to automatically reply with a comment in the comment section. So this will be set to thank you for your comment. And we also want to automatically like that comment. So then we can hit save. And then as a first step, we're going to select messenger. And this needs to be set to send as a comment reply. And I will just set this to test and set basically everything to test. Like normally this would be a Facebook chat funnel, but this is just for testing the ManyChat connection. So then we can click on set live and that should be working. And then you also want to make sure that this trigger is enabled. So that is it in this case. So then if we go to Facebook and we comment with, oh, that go, that went wrong. So if we reply with comment with test, then that should trigger many chat and should trigger the automation. And then as you can see, we automatically get a conversation with test and test. And when you click on this, they will actually send another message. And that's it. Those are two simple steps on how you can connect any Facebook page to ManyChat. And I actually have way more videos on my YouTube channel and explain how you can automatically reply to Facebook comments and how you can create your own Facebook chatbot. So if you're interested in that, I highly recommend checking these out as well. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on using ManyChat or creating your Facebook chat funnels, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.